But remember, a certificate, pardons, this doesn't delete it from your record. You were arrested, it's on your record. You were convicted, it's on your record. If you went to jail or prison, that's on your record. You completed probation, that's on your record. You got reduced to a misdemeanor, that's on your record. Certificate granted on your record. Pardon granted on your record. So it's all there for anyone to see. It never gets deleted where it no longer exists, where just a white piece of paper. It's going to be there, but at least it'll clean up the record, at least the best California law has to offer. But there's nothing that deletes it, unfortunately. Yes, sir. If you do get a certificate of rehabilitation, do you still have to um, answer yes on a job application? Okay. If you're the job application in California, there's something called 1203.4. Pretty hollow remedy, but it's an expungement. Technically, it's really a dismissal. Because expungement, people think, well, it's purged, expunged, it's gone. Oh well, no, it's not gone. A 1203.4 is a situation where you receive probation. If you go to prison, you don't qualify. If you receive probation and complete probation successfully, you can do a 12 or 3.4 petition with the court. Very easy, should be very inexpensive. The lawyer should not be charging a lot of money. You can probably do it yourself if you, if you know what you're doing. You file it with the superior court where they were, you were convicted, and if it's granted, which generally it will be as a matter of law, if you have no probation violations, it will be granted. If you do have any probation violations, but you but thereafter did complete probation, it becomes discretionary. But a 12 or 3.4 basically tells the, it, the legal effect is your plea of guilty or no contest is withdrawn, a plea of not guilty entered, and the case dismissed in the interest of justice. That's going to be on your rap sheet. But the arrest, the conviction, the expunge, it's all there. Now, if you're applying for a job that doesn't involve a state job or a public license in California, if they ask you on a direct questionnaire, have you ever been convicted of a crime, you can legally say no if it's been expunged, the exception state job public licenses. That was okay in the 70s and 80s. But in today's world, you can say no. But in today's world, I've noticed most applications say any conviction, even one's expunged, well, they want it, you gotta tell them. Or they'll do background checks anyway. Where years ago, they didn't, no one did background checks. It wasn't as, we didn't have the automated world that we have today. Now you can do background checks easier. So even if you say, no, I've never been convicted, you won't be lying. And it's not perjury, because the law in California allows you to say no. But the legal effect and the really impact is kind of minimal now. It's kind of a hollow remedy, because they can still do background checks on you anyway. But you don't have to disclose on a questionnaire if you're applying for a job, for a private job, for a private company. Now, will they do a background check anyway? A lot of companies will. A mom pop operation? Probably won't. But that's a 12 or 3.4 petition for dismissal. And if you, but that only applies to people that are on probation and complete probation. You go to prison, as a matter of law, you don't qualify for that. And by the way, just I let you guys know, if you're sent to prison, you don't qualify for a 17B either, that reduction from a felony down to a misdemeanor, you don't qualify for that if you go to prison. I guess the theory is, if you guys negotiated a prison commitment, this must have been pretty serious. So if it's that serious, I'm not gonna reduce this. If you get probation, now the judge can exercise their discretion to reduce it down to a misdemeanor. Yes? Is there a difference between a, and I know there is, but in this instance, is there a difference between a prison term versus county jail? Uh, well, okay, <laughs> great question. Well, Prop 36, the laws have changed in California about who goes to prison, who doesn't, you can commit a, serious, you can commit a uh, crime such as grand theft, felony, stealing $200,000, and they may give you three years in prison. You will serve that prison commitment in a county jail. But if it's still a prison commitment, it's a prison commitment no matter where you serve it. So if it's prison, it'll say on, their, on your rap sheet, it'll say on the form that you plead guilty that you're being sentenced, ma'am, to state prison for three years. Where you serve it is not determinative of whether you go to prison or not for this our, 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 our conversation now. Um, so that just deals with money and housing. Redistribution of money and housing and bed space. <coughs> That's going to keep some of these low-risk offenders, certain types of crimes, in county jail. Even though they're committed to state prison, they're going to serve that prison time in a county jail. Right. And they get paroled from county jail. As opposed to people get placed on probation. Where do they go if they serve jail time? That's automatic county jail as a matter of law if you get probation. When you get released from, from jail, you're on probation. So, okay, yeah. my, my question my husband took a plea deal that he was
was to serve his time in county jail. Okay, but did he get probation? Was probation granted? Yes. Or did oh, then, then he got probation? But he, I, I'm sure he's not serving more than a year. <laughs> he served a week in the county jail. But how much? What was his sentence? Oh, a year in the yeah. county jail. Very as typical. Opposed to state prison. Very typical. Then that is a probation grant. He serves a year in jail. Uh, Two ninety offenders sometimes may get out in LA County. Maybe in, in, in eight, supposed to be eighty five percent, but they may kick people out earlier. But that person got probation because he went to county jail. You'll know if you're sentenced. Either you got probation or you went to prison. Where you serve it, that's this new system they're trying to create to, to move money, move bed space. Right. Okay. So you, you're saying that the, they determine that by the severity of, well, of, of mm -hmm. first, you know, jail versus prison. But if it's a, a one-time uh, offense and you got half time anyway, you did do the three years and did well, 18, 17 months. Yeah. Is that considered? Is, is that considered as a way to possibly go from the the uh, to the misdemeanor? No. Once the judge denies probation, which can only be obviously on a felony, you can't go to prison on a misdemeanor. Got to be only a felony. Right. The judge denies probation. It's because either the conduct is serious, or you have a prior record that's bad, or you have a horrible attitude, you know, no remorse at all. The guy's a he's a nut. And you know, or the probation report comes back terrible. This guy's not treatable. He's not even taking responsibility. No, probation denied. You go to prison. Whether you, no matter what you serve in prison, whenever, whenever you get out, is of no consequence. Yeah. Now, most non-violent, non-serious, uh, non-violent, non-serious crimes, you're eligible for half time. But the law says if you're a 290 registrant, you'll serve 85 percent. Doesn't mean you'll, you'll, you'll do 85 percent. You may do a lot less. But the law says 85 percent. You don't get that half time on a 290 offense. Now, the statute says it. You don't get half time on a 290 offense, okay. a crime that triggers 290 registration. But in my experience, they are kicking people out early. You just do. It's too much well, what, what if the reason is none about the just mentioned that the, the judge? No, the judge doesn't decide that. The judge says you're going to prison for three years. Prison? You're going to prison for three years. Okay. How much of that you'll serve? Not even up to me. The judge has zero, zero power. And after 120 days, they lose jurisdiction even over you. Okay. After 100, you're sentenced to state prison for three years, you go off to prison. After 120 days, I can even, I can, within 120 days, I can bring you back to resentence you. I forgot about something or you know, the Lord brings something to my attention. But after that 120 days, me as a Superior Court judge who sent you to prison, I lost jurisdiction oh, over the case. Okay. I lost ju jurisdiction over you. So, so the guy gets out early or not has nothing to do with the so, judge. It has everything to do with the Department of Prison. Okay, so ten years later, he wants to get it down to misdemeanor. Now what? It's reduced. If, it, if you went to prison, you can't get it reduced. It is not regardless. Of regardless the of the world, at least the way the law is right now, 17b, you have to be. You have to get probation. Okay. And to get it granted, they want to see you pre. I mean, at least in Orange County, the judge that I deal with a lot on this, an XDA, she's actually not a bad judge, but. 17B will usually be granted if there's no violations while you're on probation and you have material reasons why you want it granted, school, education, want to better yourself, I'm going to give it to you. But if you violate your probation and you're messing up a little bit, they're more leery. You, you still get your certification of rehabilitation. Whether you go to prison or not, you can get a certificate of rehabilitation whether you go to prison or not. That's not a, our criteria. Like I said, forcible rape, guy gets six years in prison, he gets out, 10 years down the road, he qualifies for a certificate of rehabilitation. That won't stop his obligation from registering though because it's one of the 290.5 crimes. Right. But at least it's a good start. Right. It's a good start. And even have on your record, even if you, let's say you still have to register, the governor doesn't give you a pardon, I'm still registering, but at least you have a certificate. Maybe a guy will hire you on your after you chose. The Superior Court judge gave you a certificate of rehabilitation. That's a pretty distinct honor. And maybe, that, maybe that might be enough. If you still have to register, there's no wiggle room anywhere. Well, at least I got a certificate. And maybe employers interested in that, possibly. And that goes on your rap sheet, certificate of rehabilitation. That's good stuff. Well, that gets you off the Megan's list. No, the Megan's law is different. Megan's law is not. That doesn't care. Megan's law only involves, like I said, if it's a 647, very strict. If it's a two, if it's a sex crime, then you have to register. You have to prove the relationship. No role cop. No penetration. All that stuff. Or it's, or it's a sexual battery, or a 647.6 misdemeanor child annoyance, or child porn, 16 years of age or older, all that stuff we talked about. Megan's Law is a completely different animal. So, obviously, the way you get off Megan's Law is stop registering. 
So if you don't qualify under ordinary maintenance law rules to be excluded, if you stop registering, that is an automatic. And that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Could you say again, you were talking about a felony is, is no longer part of the law for a certificate of rehabilitation. My fiance entered a home and later his friend said he didn't have permission. The, the misdemeanor was the sex crime, but it became a felony because he entered a home and then they charged him with bur burglary. I never had that. That is an interesting Pardon? situation. So what happened What happened in this case? Still pending? Um, or no? No, no, it was 13 years ago and okay. you went to two terrible lawyers. Well, <laughs> I apologize for that. Oh, no, one of them wasn't me. It was in yeah. L.A. County. Okay, well, no, uh, the crime's still a misdemeanor. Now, no, it's a misdemeanor. If the, if the sex crime is a misdemeanor sex crime, yeah. then that qualifies him for whatever it needs to qualify him for. It was annoying. 647.6. Then yeah. he, should, he should be able to get off of Megan's Law website. Well, he's not even on it. Right. Well, he didn't go to prison. So. That's me. Yeah, right. Oh. But when you go to prison, not because we put a Megan's Law website, but I guess they looked at it and they saw a 647.6. You're not on Megan's Law website. That's nice. That's a real sweet way to be is off of Megan's Law website. But as long as the conviction wasn't a felony for the sex crime,